is Michelle with Pink and Main. Today we are going to be making a Hanukkah card. We came out with this Happy Hanukkah stamp set. And this, it's got Happy Hanukkah in this nice, bold, scripty font. It has a few Star of Davids. And then we have a few sentiments to go along with that. May love and light fill your home. I love you a latke. Let's celebrate. Peace, shalom. Wishing you eight magical nights. To go along with that, we also have our bold Hanukkah dies, and the dies match the stamp set um, pretty much identically. It's just this fun, bold script font that says Happy Hanukkah. So we're gonna use those to make a card. Let's get started. Um, we're going to be using the Glitz Glitter Gel by Gina K and Thermoweb in this beautiful white, and it's just called white. We're going to need some purple tape by Thermoweb, or if you have some washi tape that you like to use. We have our stencil. I forget what this one is called. I believe it's called Starry Night. We have our Starry Night stencil, and we have a piece, I've cut this card size, of this beautiful barbershop blue sparkle sheets and you can find these products on our website, pinkandmain.com. I like to use, when I'm using a stencil and some sort of paste or gel, I like to use, this is called the Stencil stencil Pal, and it's by Thermoweb, but I really like it. It's this nice, big, flexible piece, and I like that it covers like the entire stencil almost, and you can do things in, you know, just a few strokes rather than fussing and fighting with a little smaller palette knife. Okay, so I'm gonna take a piece of this purple tape and I'm just gonna roll it up and put it on the back of my sparkle sheet just to kind of stick it, oh, let me, first we want to put something underneath our surface to work on. This gets a little messy. So I'm gonna stick that sparkle sheet down to my, just a cheap piece of printer paper. We're gonna lay our stencil over our card base, and we're just gonna tape that down with a little purple tape just to kind of hold it in place while we play with the gel. We'll open this up. And a little bit goes a long way. I usually just take a dollop like that and I start over in the corner and we just spread it across our stencil with the stencil pal. And I was curious when I did this, whether the white would show up on top of this blue glitter. It's we're doing glitter on top of glitter. Can you ever have too much glitter? I don't think so. But I did find that this white glitz glitter gel is pretty opaque looking. So it works just fine on top of this blue sparkle sheet. So you would just fill the entire, you just get a thin layer across the entire card base here. And instead of finishing that up, I'm gonna go ahead, you always wipe the excess back into your jar. You don't wanna waste any bit of that. Okay. So we'll just put a thin layer on top of And with the magic of video, I have a panel here that's already dry. Now that glitter gel I find on top of this glitter paper, it did take quite a while to dry, like at least an hour or so. And I put it on, I, I had like a nice little layer here. As you can see, it's opaque, but it's, print, it's plenty sparkly. I mean, it looks really pretty, I think. So you've got the blue glitter and you've got the white glitter on top of it. So let's create our card. I've already pre-cut some pieces. I've used our stitched rectangle dies, set one and set two. Um, set one and set two 
when you use them together, they create like a nice one eighth of an inch border around. If you just use the rectangles from set one, they're gonna have a quarter inch border. So I've cut out some different panels here. I've used this really pretty like brushed silver cardstock and I made that a bottom layer for our glittered panel. So I'm going to adhere these down to our card base. Next I've cut two smaller rectangles, one again in that brushed silver cardstock, and then a smaller one in white. And I'm gonna glue these together and then adhere them to my card. We'll just put that down kind of in the bottom right hand corner a little bit. And when you're gluing, the cardstock down to this glittered glitter paver, <laughs> extra, extra glitter. You want to use like a good liquid glue and let it dry really well because it's got a, it's got a texture to it. So some of the tape runners are not going to stick really well to all that texture. So we'll stick that down. And next I have cut out our happy Hanukkah out of that same blue glitter sparkle sheets and we'll glue that down. And here we have just a sweet, simple, happy Hanukkah card that's super sparkly and glittery. And I think I'm gonna give this to my uncle who is Jewish for Hanukkah this year. So I hope you've enjoyed crafting along with me and creating a happy Hanukkah card. And until next time, keep living the creative life.